Hello and welcome to Alexa Skills with Python. In this part two, we are going to be talking about how to set it up. Uh, so hopefully you've watched the first video and you got kind of an overview of what we'll be talking about and what you'll be learning about. Um, once again, this is part two. Uh, this is setting up a new Alexa skill and Lambda function. If you remember from the first video, part one, we talked about how the infrastructure, the code, where the code will be running is going to be on AWS Lambda. We're not going to be running our own traditional servers. Uh, so we're just going to jump right into it. Um, we're going to log into the AWS Management Console. All the links for everything is going to be in the show notes below. Uh, we're just going to show you how to do it like this so you can be more comfortable. Uh, search for the Lambda service. If you use it a lot, it'll be in recently used services which you probably haven't. So you're gonna to need to search for it probably. Uh, next up is to make sure that you have selected the US East. Um, you need that to be selected as your region um, for, I believe it's for the Alexa skills to use Lambda. And most of the stuff is gonna be, if you get lost or if you, if you have no idea what, how, if I'm totally confusing you, <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> but um, the Amazon, documentation will also walk you through this. Some things change. One thing that just changed right now is, at least for me, was the AWS uh, Lambda console here. So I took some new screenshots to show you. Uh, so once you're in the AWS Lambda um, dialog, I suppose, <laughs> um, it's gonna ask you about selecting a blueprint. We're not gonna select a blueprint. What we're gonna do is click on the author from scratch here. And that's gonna bring up the next screen. It's gonna ask us to do a trigger. Now you need the trigger because that's how lambdas get fired off. Something needs to trigger them. And in our circumstance, what we're building here is an Alexa skill. So Alexa is going to trigger the lambda. So what we want to do is search or just select the Alexa skill kit. All right, and you'll see in that little spot. So previously kind of had a little empty little icon there because we needed to fill in the trigger. And if we successfully chose Alexa skill kit, it will be in there. Oh, and then we will click, click on next. Okay, so now we're gonna configure the function. Um, this tutorial series is not intended for you to follow along exactly, so you can name your uh, skill whatever you want. Uh, in this example, we're just gonna call it my tutorial. I would recommend you choose the Python 3.6 runtime. There are a number of different ways you can make these uh, Lambda functions. I recommend Python, and this video series is uh, making Alexa skills with Python. So we we choose Python, and we choose Python 3.6 because uh, 2.7 is old. Uh, so we're going to choose an existing role of um, Lambda basic execution. If you don't have an existing role, things are going to get a little more complicated. You need to go visit some of the Amazon documentation. We're going to try to find the link. I'm going to put the link of how to set up these roles. Um, in the show description, but um, hopefully it's there for you by default. It's been a long time since I set it up, so I think it should be there by default. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, we're just gonna bring, bring up your review screen. Uh, it's just gonna tell you about the, the name of it and what runtime you've decided and handlers and all that stuff. Um, yeah, yeah, we think it's right. <laughs> okay, um, here's another important part. You need to record this ARN, all right? This is kind of like the address of where your Lambda is going to live. Your Alexa skill is going to need this. Also, don't share it. Um, bad things can possibly happen if you share it. So right up here in the corner of the screen, it's going to have um, an ARN. You're just going to copy it off starting kind of there. Oh, I, I messed it all up. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, yeah, I guess, I guess monk, monk tea time. Oh, well, it was a... Not the screenshot I thought it was going to be. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to be making an actual Alexa skill. So now you need to sign into the Amazon Developer Portal. Once you're signed in, you're going to find the tab that says Alexa. You're going to click on that, and then you're going to get these uh, two little things. Don't worry about the voice service. What we care about is the Alexa skill kit. We're going to click get started. Um, yes, redundant. Okay. Oh, redundant. Okay. Okay. So now uh, the next screen is going to bring up about building a skill. What we want to do is click this add a skill button that's in the next screen. 
And then we want to kind of like we did with the, the Lambda earlier, we want to make, we want to name it. And then now we need to create the invocation. All right. And in this example, I'm calling this skill Dolly. And then the invocation name is Dolly. So if you remember from the very first video, we talked about invocation names. So the invocation name for this skill is going to be Dolly. So what we're going to say is Alexa, open Dolly or Alexa, ask Dolly something. Dolly is going to be the invocation name, but the actual name name is coincidentally also Dolly. Um, and we just want to leave all the defaults, all the defaults, just save all the defaults and then click uh, save and then click next. Okay, now we're going to be in the uh, skill builder. We, we do want to launch a skill builder. It's uh, fairly, fairly good. Um, it's going to help you build um, intents and slots and stuff. Um, one thing to remember, the skill builder is still in beta. As you can see, the little button shows, you know, it's, it's in beta. Um, it's going to do things that are going to make you angry. <laughs> Stay cool. Everything's going to be okay. When I was trying to make this tutorial, I was very, very frustrated. It, I won't share my terrible story, but it frustrated me. So I made this slide just in case you get frustrated. It's okay. Just, it seems like if you just wait, sometimes things get better. If it not, if something really weird is going on, go onto the forums, um, see if anybody else is dealing with this. Sometimes I've seen, um, yeah, just everything will be okay. Hopefully. <laughs> um, okay. So this is the, um, uh, skill builder. It's, uh, it, it's, it needs some work. Like I said, it's going to frustrate you. Like one of my problems is that it's always larger than my screen. It doesn't matter what monitor I'm on for some reason. It, I think it's just me. Uh, <laughs> It's always just too big. Okay, so um, this is what it looks like. We've got these buttons for saving and building models. Don't quite worry about those yet. What we're gonna do is click add intent, okay? Right here, add intent. Remember we talked about intents in the very first video, hopefully you remember. If not, you might wanna go back and watch that. Okay, so now we've clicked that. We're gonna create a intent and this intent we're gonna call favorite number intent, okay? Just add it there, write it down, then click favorite intent, or I'm going to. Okay, and now we need the utterances, and that's what actually someone's going to say in order to make that skill do something specific, right? So um, favorite number, my utterance is going to be, what is your favorite number, all right? So the way that the user is going to make this skill, this intent happen, as we're going to say, Alexa, ask Dolly, what is your favorite number? All right. So Alexa is a wake word. Dolly is an invocation name. What is your favorite number is the utterance that is going to be mapped to an intent. Um, it probably sounds very complicated. Um, once you've done it a few times, it starts seeming a lot more reasonable. So. Don't worry, you just, just kind of poke around, mess around with it. Just make these really simple ones when you're first starting out. Don't try to dig into the slots too soon. There's a lot of tutorials out there that show, you know, really complicated, you know, slots, dialogues as your first, don't just do something super simple. As you can see, this is going to be a very, very simple thing. But, you know, I'll just tell you what this is going to happen is that we have already told Dolly what her favorite number is. I believe it's like seven, right? And so we're just going to ask her, what's your favorite number? And she's going to say number seven, super simple. There's like no logic here. So there's, it's very hard to mess up. That's what you want for your first tutorial. <laughs> okay. So, uh, we've added the utterance. We're also only going to have one utterance, I believe. Um, so when we save it, here we go. And then you're going to, you would be clicking save cause then you're going to save this, these intents. And then you're going to build it and that's going to build the model. And that can take a little while. Um, there's a little window that comes up. Sometimes it says about five minutes and I've had it take minutes. But don't worry, just wait. You got to wait for that, for this to get done building before you really should go on any further. All right. And now we're at the point where we can use that ARN. All right. We're going to configure our endpoints. So now we've, we've made a skill. We've made an utterance and an intent. And so Alexa's got all that stuff and then it needs to know who to talk to. Where am I going to send this bundle of information? Right. And so that's going to be the, the, 
ARN, the, the Lambda function. So we're gonna, you would wanna click uh, the AWS Lambda ARN North America. Cause like we said earlier, we are making it US East. So we wanna stick with that and then paste in your individual Lambda function. So that's gonna map it. Click save and next. Okay, and then you have got a testing screen. Uh, so that testing screen, you would probably just put in, um, actually at this point, nothing will work because you haven't written any code, but you know, you've, you've got a testing screen. In the future, what you could do with this is um, you can actually write in the screen what your utterance would be. It'll show you that, that JSON request and the responses helps a lot with debugging. Um, if you're making one of these skills, you will very quickly get tired of Alexa's voice. Um, also, sometimes you don't know why it went wrong. So sometimes you can see that, oh, I did something weird and the request is wrong in some way. Um, but I just want to give you the testing screen. Um, I think that there might be a whole different series of videos going into um, Python, AWS, Lambda, Alexa, skill testing. There's a lot. It can get complicated going into the testing, but right now you're just making a simple little thing. So that's it. Um, okay, so that is the end of part one. So now what we've got is um, you have set up, or I have set up in this example, an Alexa skill. You know how to set up an Alexa skill. You know how to set up an AWS Lambda function that is mapped to an Alexa skill. All right, um, and in the next video, I think we're actually going to be writing some code. So I hope this video was helpful to you and I hope that you are learning some things from it. And uh, thank you very much for uh, watching.